Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. This is Karthik. Thanks for joining with me today. So in this video, what I'm going to show you is what is the difference between using the ngf directive and the applying an expression to the hidden attribute of an HTML tag based on what you use. There's a difference that is applying in the DOM and let's take a look. On my screen, whatever you're seeing is the demo app. So basically I have a list of appointments in a variable and that has been loaded here and in each appointment you can see what time it is an appointment and how long it is going to take okay so on on the screen there are like four four things now and what i'm going to do is uh, if you apply a duration here like one hour whichever is one hour it is not going to show here it's just going to show you other than the one hour okay so i'm using this in the hidden attribute okay if i change this the remaining thing will show and if I go to select one, everything is going to show. Now, let's say before we go to the hidden attribute, let's let's see what happens if we apply an NGF. So I'm applying an NGF here. You see this selected hover is coming from here. The value is one, two or minus one. So plus symbol of that will change the string into an integer if it is convertible. So when this condition is matching with the duration, duration is what we saw, right? one hour, two hour or whatever is there in the appointment. When this happens, now let's take a look at the output of the NGF. So let me go back and let me open up the 4200. That's the port that is running and the other one is basically the completed ap application. Okay, you see this right now, nothing is shown. And if I change this, whenever the condition is matching, these two are shown. And if I change this, the other two is shown, right? Now let's take a look at the, the source code of this. So if I click on this and go to any of the source code, okay, you can clearly see what is going to happen here. Okay, so let's change it to select one. You see this, the DOM got updated. If I expand this, you will see there is nothing here. Inside the DOM, none of the four appointments are here. If I change to any of these things, you see this, some DOM started coming, right? The DOM started appearing with some data, car wash, right? And if I change this to different one, see the car wash went away, right? And if I change to this one, yes. So what happens to this, um, the NGF is basically, whenever you apply an NGF, the content, whatever is not applicable will be removed from the DOM. And let's take a look at the hidden attribute. So how do I change this to hidden attribute? So expression is same, but let me remove this directive and include hidden attribute, which is part of any of the HTML element. Okay. So when I apply this hidden attribute now, now what is going to happen is it is going to see whenever this condition is met, it will return a two, right? So which means we are setting hidden as true. So a particular piece of code is hidden. Similarly, whenever this condition is not matching, hidden is set to false which means everything is going to show. So let's take a look at the demo. So let me go over here. So right now, hidden is false. That's why you are able to see all the four. But if I apply any of the filter, okay? So now, whichever is condition is met as true, whichever is one, those element became true, so those elements are not shown here, okay? So in other words, let's, let's change this to a different thing. So when we say not equal to, okay. So when this happens, let's see what happens. Okay. So when I change this uh, condition, it is exactly same as how the NGF is doing. So let apply the uh, one hour. So when I say one hour, only one hour, whichever is one hour, it is shown. When I say two hours, whichever is two hour, it is shown, right? So what happens if I go and do a select one? Okay. If you remember in the previous one, none of the four appointments were shown, but here I can still see something, right? That's the difference. So for hidden, the content inside the DOM will not be removed, but for NGF, the content inside the DOM will be removed if the condition is not met, okay? So that's the difference between applying an expression in the NGF and the hidden. Now you know how to apply this, and this is one of the interview question. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it, and never forget to click on the bell icon.